All right, you guys see I have many devices set up right now because I want to explain um, why Creed has been so successful with the Dynavox T10 with Compass. And right now uh, Creed has his T10, so I have the iPad with the Compass app. Um, because for a long time Creed was stuck in a grid-based format, um, like the Maestro here or uh, his PRC device here. And then we have a VMAX over here, a lot of devices. And all of the things that you see out there right now from a PRC or um, from, um, let's see, Prolo to Go, all of this stuff, it, it's grid-based. So you're going to see kind of the same things. There's nothing different that I have found about them, except maybe buttons like Quick Fire are called something else and has different stuff in it. Um, or, you know, a My Word section might be different. Uh, keyboard might be different, my phrases might be different, but it's still the same thing, it's a grid. Uh, and you open up the categories. When Creed received the Compass and then the T10, completely different. Although there is still a grid, there's a whole lot more going on. Uh, and I wanted to really show you. So like, if he was on a PRC, for him to tell me that he wants to go, you know, first of all, Creed wouldn't even bother with any of the eyes or not like I want or any of that stuff. He went straight to the places. So he'd probably go. hit go. Wow, that's loud. And then he would choose places. And then he would say where he wanted to go. You know, go Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. And so go Pizza Hut. There's, there's his language for that. It doesn't really, it, it would take a lot of hits for him to say, you know, I, I want. What? He'd probably not do anything with two. Um. You know, you can go up here to your wants, and then that opens up something. Everything opens up something in grid base. So, you know, so he could be like, you know, I, I want, want go. go. Then he might be able to say playground. Uh, and then, you know, I want to go to the playground. playground. Okay, what do you want to do in the playground? Then he has to go find the category about playground, um, which actually, it's been a while since I've used this. I'm not 100% sure where that is. Um, probably, you know, you might have a whole playground category here. Then you go into that and you might be able to talk about um, the playground sports. Something like that, basically. But as you see, it takes a lot of play hits. Um, oh yeah, the battery's dying. To, to go back and forth between stuff. Um, it's not the simplest um, for our kids. And really, he's stuck with being able to say, I want or I play, or I don't, or I eat, but really when Creed was just having the grid based and most of the kids I've ever worked with, when they did grid based, they stuck with the nouns. You know, it would take massive months and months and years of practice to try to build his sentence. And the, I'm talking about specifically the kids that are nonverbal. Um, they tend to speak only in nouns, especially on devices. So they go. might go have play and just hit places. Um, or they might just hit eat and bring up the food. Um, and it, it, they can't really comment. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing is Creed can tell me that he wants to eat. He can tell me that he wants to go. He can tell me how he feels. Um, he might be able to tell me what he likes or whatever, but it still doesn't lend itself. You know, if we're suddenly in Christmas, you know, he's opening presents, I'd have to create a whole page just about Christmas for him to be able to speak about it. The most he could probably do is say, I like it or I don't like it. Um, it doesn't really open up his language very much. And, you know, that's pretty much the same. Here's his maestro, and this was the last um, design of his maestro because we were trying to get him to speak in sentences. So he had to say, I. And then we had all of the verbs, uh, really, that relate to him. Um, but he only stuck to a couple. He still didn't really speak in phrases. So he might say, you know, I want... He might even put two together, like, I want eat. And then he would come over here uh, and choose his foods. You know, I want to eat, you know, rice. I want to eat rice. Things like that. But really, Creed's language, we were stuck. He would pretty much just go to nouns and just tell me the food or tell me the place. Uh, it, it took a lot of prompting that he still didn't use, you know, his verbs or he might just stay in the verbs. But for a conversation, if you think about it, it's very difficult um, for a kid to have a conversation, especially with autism, where they have to, you know, you can time it, how long it takes for them to say what they want, going through all of these, you know, whatever it might be. Um, I want ruffles. He wants ruffles. Okay, great. I'll go do it. Um, you know, that takes 10 or 15 seconds to go through, especially if they're thinking or, or they hit the wrong page and have to close it out. 
or whatever. But then we're stuck. I want ruffles. And that's it. He then can't say, you know, then we have to go to a whole nother section, you know, that might say open it. Um, it's been a while, so I'm not sure where even open it is. I'll have to find it. It might be in quick fire. You know, I might say open it or whatever. Might tell me that he's all done or whatever. Still, it, it took some time. He still doesn't open up for him to ask me a question. You'd have to build his own question. It doesn't lend itself to a lot of a lot of conversation. It, it just kind of limits you to asking for what you want. Um, even going in the car, he did learn some of the controls and stuff like that that I had to add in. But it's only what's in my brain that uh, he could communicate with. And then uh, and some other the Maxes or other maestros, any Series 5 software might come like this, where it's really broken up into categories. Um, and so, you know, if he want, kid wants to eat, first they have to open up that, go to breakfast, and then they get to say, oops, sorry, volume's down, you know, bowl of cereal. Um, which really, I mean, that's the extent of their talking. Now they do have the slot keys here, where he might be able to say, Do we have any more? Well, and that's loud. Do we have any more? So it opens up a little bit, um, more language, but still a lot of the kids um, were have been stuck um, because it's still not all I can ask if there's more um, might be able to ask you know do we have any more and then pancakes or, or whatever then they have do the do we have any more and then he can kind of choose um, here with the slot keys this taste whatever but uh, out of the box I mean there's there's two options to comment on his food and that and that was it. Um, or you go to really confusing pages, like I still don't know how to use this page because um, it was um, pretty confusing and so we never really used um, the gateway. Um, so all of that, or they go to my word and they just they just use, you know, just strictly the noun. So all of this, um, they were stuck. And all of them, Prolo to go, um, I don't have that currently right here, um, but it's still grid based. It's still like all the others. All of them are kind of like that. Even the new one, I think it's AAC corn or something like that. Although it will predict what the kid might ask for, they still have to build their senses. And while I can see the value in that um, with kids who might have some language and need to learn syntax and stuff, our kids who are completely nonverbal, they need a fast way to communicate to get their thoughts across. Um, like Creed, you know, if he has to spend 20 seconds trying to figure out what he wants to say to me, the conversation's over. He's just going to go to his wants and needs. Because he can now speak faster, uh, he stays in the conversation. And I think that's a huge difference. So now, when Creed wants food, he goes to meals instantly. He's there. So, he can do a variety of things. We have slots here. He'll say, I want to eat. And then, uh, you know, he'll flip through it real fast because uh, you can slide it. Um, just like on the iPads and stuff. And decide, you know, he wants blue chips. Boom, done. I want to eat blue chips. And then I'll say, oh, okay, I'll go get blue chips. Or he can tell me to go get it. Or he can ask if he can have it. And a lot of times, First Creed says, he's hungry. I'm hungry. That is a whole nother section in all these devices. He couldn't just comment, I'm hungry. And now he can. So he'll say, I'm hungry. I'll be like, oh, okay. Um, what do you want to eat? And sometimes he'll go, when are we eating? When are we eating? And then I'll say, oh, well, right now is when you can eat because you're hungry. Then he can tell me what he wants. Um, or, you know, he can ask some questions that I made up. Um, he can talk to me, like, already, without getting out of this category, he just flips a tab. And suddenly, he can ask for more. He can tell me it's good. He can say, can we have it every day? Um, I could have this every day. <laughs> he could tell me that I'm a great I'm cook. A uh, and this is out of the box, by the way. I didn't, I didn't create most of these. Uh, and, I mean, the, it's endless. Look at all the stuff that he can say out of the box. And then that's just the food talk. Then there's a drink talk. He tells me all the time. I need a drink. He can say it's good. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's awful. It is all of a sudden he has all of these things that he can say that he doesn't have to build. Because guess what? Uh, our nonverbal kids who oftentimes are teens or in their late childhood or even adulthood, um, they don't have time to sit there and create. That would take years of learning. It just does uh, in my experience. I mean, some kids obviously can learn it pretty fast. Uh, but for Creed to stay in the conversation with me, he needs it quick and at his fingertips. And let's say, you know, he's asked for his food. You know, I want to eat, you know, the boo chips. Oops. Uh, I want to eat boo chips. So I'm getting the boo chips. He quickly flips to the movies. You know, it takes two seconds. He doesn't have to find the category. And then he can tell me he wants me to watch something. Or he watch. could say, whoops. Turn the TV on. That fast he can tell me that. And this is why Cree can argue with me now. Because everything's right here. Now let's pretend, um, you know, he's not satisfied with my answer or something else. He can go here and talk to me some more and say, no, I want to eat hungry. something. I'm hungry. I want to drink. Um, you know, tell me how he feels about something. He could quickly ask a question. 
uh, that may pertain to the things. Or if he's having trouble, he can, you know, go to the repairs and, and tell me that he doesn't understand or for me to say it again. Or he can say, you know, I am so angry. I'm so angry very quickly. And then there's very quickly his yes and no's. They're just, you know, some stuff that he uses really fast. So Creed might, you know, rely on his quick fire and say, you know, just go. go. I'm like, I don't know what you mean by go. You want me to go away? You want me to go in your room? So I'll say, use your topics. So apparently I need to um, charge my GoPro before I film a sequence like this. But again, I'm trying to show you exactly how quickly Creed can have a conversation now. Uh, and same, like, I move around these categories, you know. Creed can ask me first, go to car, and he'll say, can we go out to eat wherever it is that he chooses? And I might say no. And so the reason Creed can argue now is now he quickly goes to fast food and he'll ask me a different way. You know, then he'll say, can we, eat out? can we eat out or go to his foods there where he orders his food. Uh, and then he'll argue back and forth with me because everything is so accessible. And that is why I find that the nav bar part of Compass is so exceptionally different. And not only that, but, you know, if Creed's having a conversation with me, if these aren't enough words, if he hits topic words, a thousand more choices come up. So if he doesn't have the choices, well, here's a whole bunch more that he can talk about. Um, or you can go to the word list. Um, and just like these are grid-based here, all of these are grid-based, uh, they have a grid built in. So if a kid needs to build their sentence, they build it right here. You know, they can put in uh, whatever movie they want. You know, I want to see, you know, whatever, Arthur. Okay. And you can use it with the core words where I want. Uh. Um yeah. And then he could go back to his uh, word list and say, you know, I want Arthur. Um, Arthur, I want. So you do have the option of grid within Navbar, which a lot of people don't realize. Um, and I think that's amazing that it opens up so many options for speaking, not just grid. You could add in a visual scene if you wanted or put that in there. Um, but it's just so fluid. The way a kid can speak in phrases and a thousand different phrases to talk to you. Uh, it's so much quicker than any grid-based format I have ever seen. Uh, and then same, Creed's learning to type, and so he just uses uh, the prediction key. Clear. So very quickly, I. want doesn't come up, so he just hits w. w, you know, I yeah. want, uh, whatever. Hey. Then he might have to spell some of like a movie. M. And they can oh. go pretty quickly. Movie. Just like you I would with, with grid base. And so I think all of these have merit, and it's great no matter what device a kid has. Uh, Creed has been stuck for a few years on just asking for his wants and needs because it takes so long versus, you know, this has to be one hit, I two want hit, uh, eat. three hit, and then he can Sandwich. I want <laughs> eat. Sandwich. So it's three, you know, three hits or whatever. Now Creed can just simply go to meals, I want to eat, pick his food, done. I want to eat boo chips. Much faster, and then he has so much more available to him. Because our kids really are, you know, into, into categories in whatever situation they're in. And there's a thousand, you know, from shopping, grocery shopping, music, calendar, sensory, bedroom, bathroom, about him, my body, my restaurant, bowling, just any conceivable situation your kid's in. Uh, for the most part, they have produced, and they've produced a vast, I have not made any of this. This is all from Dynavox. Uh, and, and what they have put in here. Now, a couple phrases I might add for Creed, um, just because they're specific to him and some of his foods. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's all here, and Creed loves it. Uh, he talks so much more now. And then they also have, you know, built-in supports. Creed doesn't need them so much, so you don't see it filmed a lot. Um, but other kids, you know, might need it. You know, whether, you know, first... First, you eat know, chicken. Eat chicken, then... then. Cupcake. So I don't need a separate app for that. I didn't have to build it. It was already in there. I only have to change the food. Um, or, you know, a kid might need um, two different ways, you know, trying something new. One bite of each. You decide if you want more, you get dessert. Try something new. Don't taste it. You leave the table. You know, your consequence. Time out. Or, or whatever it may be. Um, so it's kind of amazing that you don't even have to go to a separate app. You even have an option of a, of a visual timer. Um, to set for the kids, you know, if you need it for three minutes, there you go. The kid, you don't have to do a separate app for that. <clears throat> and same with, um, there's a schedule on here. Um, I forget where because we don't use it too much, but um, there's a check mark scheduler as well. Um, so again, everything is faster, and Creed knows it's faster. I mean, he goes to this stuff 
all the time. With the flick of his thumb, he scrolls through his categories. That's probably the longest it takes as he has to get to the category that he wants. And again, I put all the ones that he uses the most at the top, so it's the easiest for him um, to communicate. And, and that's why I say, like, you know, in the needs section, what do you need? I need help. I'm fine now. I'm angry. I'm sad. Go to the bathroom stuff. Can I take a shower? I need to use the bath. You know, it's it's kind of endless. In fact, Creed hasn't even um, seen everything that's in it. And uh, the reason I spend so much time talking about this is because it has so much more than all of these grid-based um, devices. And that for that reason alone, I this is why I love this software, and I wish more people uh, knew about it and, and tried it out with their kids um, because, it, honestly, it has changed Creed's life. We've never heard him converse like this. We've never heard him talk like this. He's never argued a day in his life. He used to bite his hand and hit his head, uh, and that would be it. As you can see on here, I've hid some keys. I hide them because he wouldn't accept no. And the reason he couldn't accept no on his maestro is because he was really limited to a few phrases, and that was it. Um, he really couldn't argue with me because there wasn't enough phrases, like there is on Compass and the T10, um, that he could argue with. And so uh, I'll end this now until I think of something else and uh, post it and see what you guys think.